Now we're going to be tying a salmon fly, uh, this one here. This is called the Ian Bain Special. Now it's a pattern that's it's a newish one, it's a good colour combination. Obviously shrimp style, very like the alley shrimp and so on. Uh, but it's certainly a lot of people are interested in the fly itself, so this is why I'm tying it. Now, there is not a great deal of information on the internet on it, uh, you can find some. But it's a nice style, and I, I have been asked for it, so and at this time, it's certainly um, end to entertain ourselves. So I'm doing half a dozen. I'm even tying them on some old salars, I've got some silver. So I've got the, this is basically me getting ready for it. So what, how I start the fly, uh, it's quite simple. I've got, this is a glow bright floss, number 11. I'm going to start it off with that. So I'm going to start maybe... If you imagine tying in the hackle and the, and the wing, so I might start below that. I want to add too much bulk up the top here with the floss. This is just for speed and it works. It works for me. So catch that in. And then we get a small oval silver tinsel. And what we do is we work our way down. You can work to the point or slight, just slightly by it. It's up to yourself. Now the hook, I mentioned the hook. The hook, this is like a... You could use Patriots, you could use the the one like the Magni Double, the Mustard, very similar. Uh, as I say, you can use other hooks if it's up to yourself. The, this is a size 6. Uh, any size, I mean, I mean, you could go above and below this size, the fly will still work. So anyway, obviously come down, cut in your oval tinsel. And the four turns heading down the shank or the bend, come between the hooks with the oval tinsel. I use my nail here, just push it, tighten it up and pull the tinsel at the same time and we catch this at the back. What I'm going to do is just form a small tag with the oval tinsel, uh, with the, the floss, sorry. Trim away the waist, just finish at this point. And to protect the floss the best way to do it is you could use a resin or a varnish, it's up to yourself. I just use a varnish. Just a clear varnish round there, even onto the tag, that'll protect the tag at the back. So if you go to use your pliers to remove the hook, this should make it last that wee tad longer. Then obviously allow that to dry. Obviously there's one I've got here that's dried, it's okay. See the varnish is dry now, so we can tie the fly. So I'm changing over to a uni thread in black, in 8 I'm going to start nearer the eye this time, so there's a layer of thread down. Then the way down, I prefer to tie in the tail. Just using a buck tail, this is obviously yellow. Now, tail length is entirely up to yourself. Can be short as long as you like. Uh, basically, when you're tying proportion, if you measure the tail to twice the hook length and tie it on, then obviously you go smaller. It will, the size will go down to suit, and you should stay in proportion. So what I'm doing here is just line up the ends. You could stack it if you want. It's up to yourself. So we've got the length here. Now I'm going to go. Well, there's two full lengths at least the hook over the back, we should be there. And then, as I say, I'm going to catch it the way down, just like all that just now. Nice and tight. I'm trying to save a wee bit of bulk. Come right up against the butt. Trim this away. And the tail, this lasts a wee bit longer than the heavier one. So I've got three strands, let's tie this in, on top, trim the length of the body, get a small silver wire for the rib, I'm going to my fingers, there it started, Just catch it on the side, so a single turn or so, full length of the body. Got a large holographic silver tinsel, 
I'm going to get some line on my desk. Okay, it's this on. And then we wind up. And take your time. Then what we do, come round, nice straight turn at the back, and then we work our way up. This point here, give yourself at least three to four mil tie in your hackle and your wings. Take away your waist and then rub the fly nice and tight. It's 90 degree bend into the wire where we catch it in, that locks it, stops it basically putting any slack turns back into the, the rib. Make sure you secure that in, bend and break away. And that's basically your tail and body done. Looks like I've got one of the tail fibres, I'm just going to take that away. For the underwing, I'm using some dyed red. This is Tippet, Golden Pheasant Tippet. Just going to take away the base of the rubbish from the sides. Obviously, you've got to tie in, you could be half of this uh, if you're tying smaller flies. In this size, I, I prefer that this fly is a small, small feather. Now, what I'm doing here is just rolling it, getting the length that I want. Now, you can decide where you want to have it, it could be short to the back of the just to the tag, slightly longer, depending on the style that you're tying. I'm basically going to put it towards the tag, so it's just about there. Catch that. Pinch the loop on top. Three or four turns. See how it's sitting? That's fine. Turn away the waist. Make sure you wax your thread. Nice and tight. Now I've got some grey squirrel. I'm just going to take some out. What I'm doing here, I'm, I'm going to tidy up basically the, the underwing of the fly. You tie it in obviously and then put a hackle to tidy that up and then finish off with the black and then jungle cock to, just to spread the materials. So the white tips just by the ends of the tippet. So we get the length we want and I usually trim Watch a thread, just fluff all that in. I use it to the cut ends, or the thread into the cut ends, three or four times. See how it's sitting, get the length. That looks okay. Now, the hackle. I've seen a few. Now, this is a like a teal blue, and this is more like a Cambridge type blue. I've seen it tied dark and light. It's up to yourself, whatever colour you like. Uh, I'm going to go with the lighter colour. These are hen necks. These are just Indian hen necks tied. So we've got a nice feather there. So I'm going to tie it in by the tip. So if you reveal the tip of the feather, then what we can do is trim that. Obviously harder to see with the blue shirt I've got on, but Hopefully you can see it okay. Make sure that's wax thread and you can tidy this area up. Just take your thread down nice and tight. Come back up red to catch your hackle when you obviously wind it on. Just fold the fibre back. You want nice straight turns. So just using my fingers here. Pull it back as you wind. Any, any hackle fibres going forward, you can draw them back. And that should be enough. Just fill up with the thread. 90 degree bend into the stem. Make sure you secure it in. If you put a 90 degree bend in, it opens out the fibres so that you can get into the stem. Now what I'm doing here is trimming away the waist. Make sure you wax your thread. Draw back. If any fibres going forward, and again I'm going to tidy this area up for our hack for our wing. Sorry, see how things are sitting. That looks okay. The white, the black on the top, 
squirrel, you could use, this is dyed, this is the grey squirrel dyed black. You could use the uh, Arctic Runner, there's a lot of hair you could use. Uh, I'm just using the, the grey squirrel. They'd dump it too much on. There you go. Now before I do that, I'm actually going to add some flash in the wing. Tiny bit of flash, this is a crystal flash, this is a heavier one. Single strand, I've just got it and I'm going to catch it in. Two or three turns down, fold it back down so it's on your side. Trim it, have it the length where you see the grey, the grey squirrel. There you go, that's just part, just as a wee bit of flash there. We'll go back to our dyed black squirrel. Just slightly longer, just slightly longer on the grey so it's slightly, so it's separate. It could be the same length, it would still be okay. So, there we go. And you trim, do the same again, just make sure, just wax on your thread, come up, you just take the thread into the cut ends, two or three times, tie that in, nice and tight. Now you could put a wee touch of super glue on there, best thing to do is to actually put the thread on top of the cut ends, get them flat, hold it. Get your super glue because if you touch it when it's stiff, sticking out, it'll stay sticking out. This way, you can actually tie it in, and this will make a really nice tight, tight head. See how it's in. Now, two jungle cock eyes. Can you line them up? First thing is draw back the fibers that I don't want. Pull some of them back. I don't mind catching in some because it actually gives it a lot more grip. So, chunk of coke eyes could be as long and as short as you like. So, let's make sure these are lined up. I wanted to obviously go up into the wing, catch them in. Just with a couple of turns, then we can make sure we wax your thread. What we do is come down, fold back, around right about halfway into the head, bring the thread to the front and then come back up. Nice and tight now, I'm going to wax my thread to give me the grip. Just take your time. Get a nice head. Keep the thread tight and let finish. Just ignore the waist ends of the jungle cock. Trim away your thread. Cut these off. Let's see if I can break them first. There we are. If you can break them off, you get a neater cut. At the same time, you've got to be careful. And there we go. And all we have to do is get some varnish. Or you've seen me doing it before. Get the fine, I've got the super glue, just touch the head all the way around. Don't touch the, the hackle fibres or the wing. This will dry really hard, especially it'll dry quick so that then you can apply a couple of coats of varnish. Just take your time, there we are. And there you are, that's your Ian Bain special tied in a wee double, so it's a nice pattern, so a nice style, nice style of fly, uh, you can see why it works, so you've got your, your mix, the nice quite a bit your grey, black and your red, so I hope you enjoyed that, as uh, I say, I was obviously tying different sizes, larger and smaller, hook choice as I say, it's up to yourself, you can do what you like. So, I hope we enjoyed that.